Hello, in this video we are going to talk about digital input to ESP32 inside the FreeRTOS ESP IDF environment. What we, are, what we will do, we will generate the following pattern which was covered in the previous video called digital output from another ESP32 and read it by ESP32. The pattern is uh, digital 1, digital 0 for one second. The basic data on the input and output methods um, are in the expressive side here. You can see it here. But uh, our explanation will be much more simpler, so I won't spend too much time on it. Here we have our repository when we will uh, work on digital input repository here and we will run this file this file and now regar regarding what we are doing we are taking this signal which is uh, generated by another ESP32 exactly what we did in the previous video the ESP from the previous video and we connect them like this we connect pin 15 to fi pin 15 on the ESP32 ground to ground and this transmitter this ESP32 is generating this a pattern which was explained in the previous video. Now the purpose of this video is to receive this pattern here and print it on the screen. How we will do it? Uh, let's uh, compile first the code. Uh, the code is basing include definitions. We define the, our main pin for digital input. We define the uh, PED, which will uh, emphasize the GPIO functionality. Just one moment, I will stop it right here. And after we can read the results. Um, after this pin is assigned the GPIO functionality, we will define the direction. In our case, the direction is input here. And after it, we will print chunks of two seconds after input results. This input results, we print every time chunks of two seconds, two seconds, and wait five seconds between the chunks. Each, each uh, 4 is running for uh, 20 repetitions with 100 millisecond delay. So we have uh, 20 readings in 100 millisecond delay and we inspect, it's expe expect to receive uh, 10 readings with 1 and 10 readings with 0. 10 readings with 1 and 10 readings with 0. Let's examine what we have received. We first read the level, GPIO get level from pin 15. We read the voltage. And after it, we print the time, the time that the ESP is working in milliseconds and the received level of... Uh, uh, of the reading and then we wait for 100 millisecond you see now for like a half second we receive digital zero after it from 500 to uh, 1040 millis uh, 400 milliseconds for one second we receive digital one and then for half a second we receive digital zero. Then we waited five seconds and the pattern was repeated. A few uh, ones, then for one second we got 
from uh, uh, 7.5 second to 8.4 for one second we have digital 0 and then digital 1 again so in this code we can see the basic functionality which enables us to read on pin 15 digital input from another device in our case from another ESP32 thank you